game better not crash again. Hey guys, it's Adam. Welcome back to Fred vs. Fright. We're gonna be revisiting this game, guys. I saw the video of video on it yesterday. I wanna play this game. I've been also resigning the characters. But by the way, there was a cutscene at the beginning when we re re opened the game. Cause I was originally gonna stream with us. Some buddies. But he kept crashing my own cameras. Great, I was on Discord. Oh, I think I closed Discord. Yes, I did. So hopefully it doesn't crash. I remember this game being that beefy anyway. It's not like, it's not like, um, uh, two real time. I swear to God, crash. No, we're good, yeah! Hello and welcome to your new job at the spooky yeah, haunting cool, place where animatronics run around the shoving suits, etc. Um, Just kidding. Those things are wired up and can't move around, like how they were fabled to back in the day. In fact, you're sitting in the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizza right now. Is that neat? The owners of this location sold the property to Fun Frights Incorporated while they're looking for a place to build their new attractions. So what a coincidence that the old pizza place was here. How perfect for an old creepy restaurant to be in this exact area. The land was very cheap too. I mean the building was so messed up that they had to either destroy it or attempt to renovate it. Of course they were going bankrupt. So they decided to try selling it, leading to where you currently are. Speaking of the building being in poor condition, We've had to work in renovating parts of it already. Almost everything is complete, but the power died shortly after we started renovating. We have resorted to using a generator, so, uh, make sure you don't run out of generator energy. If you do, just try to find a flashlight or something. It's looking pretty spooky in there, so good luck with that. Oh man. Uh, oh yeah. I guess I have to read the safety packet to you. Uh, alright. Welcome to Frederick's Fright, the latest and greatest horror attraction featuring actual relics from the original diners. Her mysteries about the events were tragic, but not certain. Now, in case of any sort of Help. injury or harm inflicted by an animatronic occurs, we are not to be held responsible as it is your own fault doing so. If the chance of a person has turned up missing or has a fatal event happened within our premises, the location of that event will be cleaned up after the attraction's running hours, blah blah blah. What a bunch of nonsense. I mean, I could understand injuries if someone was just plain old dumb with our equipment. But to die in our building? That's ridiculous. Our animatronics should be just fine. Uh, anyways, let's finish up on how you have to work the place. So to your left, you have a big old door thing from the old Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. It's used to close off guests while they're playing the flashlight game next to your office. It makes a cool transition from when they leave the game and enter the office. And finally, to your right, you have a false vent that you can shut once the guests have exited. We don't want them coming back through, or something like that? I don't know. Alright, I'll leave you to it now. See you on the flip side. The game better not be buggy this buggy. I don't remember it being this buggy. But there's a new cutscene I never saw before in the game. When I opened the game, just to try to make sure it worked correctly. Like, if it was a new laptop, I already got a new laptop. My, new, my laptop, like, when I got. Remember, right, this laptop right here, the silver one. Okay. If it just give me be like a little update or something, because like it's so Hello and welcome to your new job at the spooky haunting place where animatronics run around the shoving and suits, etc. Just
left the rock got updated recently, like a, few, like a year or two ago. Go, which kind of like got quality life changes. This game has been updated since it got released. Up updated for a while. I'm playing a 1.3 version of the game. So I just might just send this over to me. I'm not sure maybe I can like email Garrett about this. I'm not sure my own laptop. There's been lots of deleted games. Now this is a a new one, an older one, because this is having an older one make sense. It is. It's kind of concerning a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure you can see that, but that's not right either. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not right. Okay. Um, uh, you know, this game is not meant to be glitchy, which is weird. This was concerning me. That's not good. How much room we take it, my friend? Let's see here. Oh! Oh, that's a lot of RAM! Okay! Well, memory. Memory, okay. Okay, I remember you taking that much. Where's the vent? Where's the vent? It's right there, okay. Got my wrist there.
Listen to sound cues. Hello. What did I do for you? Hello. Oh, hey. Welcome back to Fredbear's Fred. I'm hoping that you're starting to get comfortable now. Okay, so I have some pretty good news right now. We have been working on the animatronic programming and they seem to be working a bit now. That prototype animatronic endoskeleton is starting to be able to turn around and stuff now, along with a few oh, others having some movement work, now. Work, work, I think that's pretty work. cool. Do you think so? Uh, okay. Time for a bit more info on things you can operate in your office. So, do you see that pullable lever on the office's ceiling? You can use that to fill up your spray bottle in the morning when you have to go clean up the animatronics. Make sure to only clean the joints, as getting liquids on the animatronic parts themselves could damage the electronics inside, or even mess up the coating. I know it's silly to have that lever right there instead of a sink, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Okay. You have a camera system to look at on your laptop, which also is a half-restored thing from Freddy Fazbear's. You can check the rooms as people go through the attraction, and make sure that no one goes into the attic or somewhere they shouldn't be. Also keep an eye on Prototype. It seems to move a bit at random times, so just look at it from time to time to make sure it doesn't fall over. Then there's an animatronic moveset operator to the right of your office, which is still a work in progress. That should eventually make an animatronic do something spooky when you enter a certain code. All this stuff should be complete nearly a week. So if something doesn't work correctly, or you see some boxes laying around, those things will be worked on. Programming the animatronics and working on the building functions will be our top priority over the next couple of days. Alright, I'll be getting some shot eye. Good night. Why record them in real time? I'm a little scared if Fred Burns Forge is not gonna not gonna show up. Cause it keeps slightly acting a little off. I mean it kinda helps us it makes it a little harder, I guess. Got to do with him. Why am I scared? It's just Fred Bear. Just gotta deal with him. Just gotta deal with him the way you gotta deal with him. Hi bro time. I'm just waiting. I mean go though for him, but I'm not aware I glitched the game out again.
take a gamble! Help us to know the game turned white! Oh, that's bad! I should've just pulled it. One more time, I guess. I don't know. No. I'm basically gonna email Garrett McKay and just send him this. Maybe he give a patch or something, I'm not sure. Wait, hold on, I wanna check settings real quick. Go check settings. Hey, what if I turn something off in settings to kinda calm the game down a little bit? Drop an options. Oh, hello. You may be going to a to a head. You may be going to a friend or major office. I'm back. I'm knock. There's a knock. Okay, there's a knock. Fuck, I didn't hear a knock, I guess. I may have heard the knock. I'm sure when he's white, turn away. I didn't know this was here. You tell you code every three eyes, and they don't actually want to kill you. Oh, subscribe for there's a homie. crashed again. It feels weird without it on, actually. I didn't know Scrap Forever was a homie, though. It was a homie, though. It feels weird. Hello? Oh, oh hey. Welcome back to Fredbear's Fright. I'm hoping that you're starting to get comfortable now. Okay, so I have some pretty good news right now. We have been working on the animatronic programming and they seem to be working a bit now. That prototype animatronic endoskeleton is starting to be able to turn around and stuff now, along with a few others having some movement now. I think that's pretty cool. Do you think so? Uh, okay. Time for a bit more info on things you can operate in your office. So, do you see that pullable lever on the office's ceiling? You can use that to fill up your spray bottle in the morning when you have to go clean up the animatronics. Make sure to only clean the joints, as getting liquids on the animatronic parts themselves could damage the electronics inside, or even mess up the coating. I know it's silly to have that lever right there instead of a sink, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Okay, you have a camera system to look at on your laptop, which also is a half-restored thing from Freddy Fazbear's. You can check the rooms as people go through the attraction, and make sure that no one goes into the attic or somewhere they shouldn't be. Also keep an eye on prototype. It seems to move a bit at random time, so just look at it from time to time to make sure it doesn't fall over. Then there's an animatronic moveset operator to the right of your office, which is still a work in progress. That should eventually make an animatronic do something spooky when you enter a certain code. All this stuff should be complete in nearly a week. So if something doesn't work correctly, or you see some boxes laying around, there's 
things will be worked on. Programming the animatronics and working on the building functions will be our top priority over the next couple of days. Alright, I'll be getting some shot eye. Good night. kidding me all right I, I gotta figure out what's wrong with this thing I, I mean, it's probably just like a weird bug but we go into camera too fast or something but I like this video here because I, I got movies to see if 50 I'll update you all right I'll be right back see you guys later